Okay, this is Sugi and today I'll be explaining about the season 4 jungle and how it works. It's pretty simple, things haven't changed that much. Trinket system got added and some gold flow th things and snowballing effects has been changed. First of all, let's talk about starting items. First of all is match sheet and 5 potions are currently the best choice for starting items and this is why because cloth armor 5 potion doesn't work anymore because this will just make your clear time pretty horrible because light of the creeps uh, health has been added on the season 4 pre-season pre patch so they're a lot stronger right now and actually on the low level jungles you know if you're level 5 or 10 um, it's pretty horrible the jungle because you need armor runes okay one thing I'm I'm gonna add that do not jungle without armor runes that is not possible I mean it is but most jungles are probably gonna die so flat flat armor is essential for jungling for some champions like Sejuani because she has the passive you could practically run armor per levels but still that is gonna drop your health quite low but there's few jungles that are able to keep their health up on the jungle like Warwick, Fiddlesticks and Zinzao and uh, these are pretty good when you have a self heal some jungles that don't have self heal might be in huge trouble and lose a lot of health so they can gank after they have to the run but as you can see I started from blue then I went to wolves and then I went to raids and after raids I went to red and why is this the best path? Well, given inside smiteless thing is pretty useless right now because this changed the XP gains on the camps. So right now you should use the first smite on the blue and the second on the red. And the new jungle camp white is just a gold thing. And if you're playing on the um, purple side, you should the the AD carry and the support should take it usually and the golem should be taken by top lane or whoever it is. These camps are, in my opinion, pretty useless. I mean, somebody wants to farm on the jungle, but let me tell you that in the new jungle, you might get a lot of gold in the jungle, but you will lose the game if you farm on the jungle, if your lanes aren't winning or they are even. Because this just means the enemy jungle is just gonna gank lanes while you're farming, and you're just gonna lose objectives, you're gonna lose um, your the team is gonna die and then they get mad because they keep dying and why my jungle isn't ganking. So the right has given a really bad information about regarding you could jungle in the new. I mean you could farm on the new jungle, like uh, you could pick Master Yi or Yasu or Trindemir, and these guys should farm 20 minutes on the jungle before they can carry and. This is not optimal at all. Like, I lo you lose the game if you farm on the jungle. Like, the gold is not the important thing. The important thing is the objectives and the kills. You have to take turrets, you have to take dragons, and you have to take kills. Dragons are less valuable early game. Actually, I'm just gonna say this. I don't highly prioritize in dragons, and I don't think you should because most cases you're gonna bait people coming into the dragon pit and if enemy team has a vision over the dragon pit then they're gonna come too and if you're mm, lucky one member you might die and some retarded shit happens always there so I would suggest focusing on kills and turrets mostly turret is more valuable than one drake that is uh, by gold and by well not by gold but still more valuable because you get so much map control as for the trinkets um there's three trinkets the orb is pretty useless because it's not global uh range uh, the ward is pretty good because you can ward the river you can ward your allied lane rush so you get vision over the place and uh, that will decrease the chances your lane getting ganked by enemy jungle or you can set up a counter gank which is really effective and one thing then there's the lens but the lens is uh, pretty useless if you have no idea where the wards are and it's not really 
good in, in solo queue in my opinion. It's just better for team rank where you have a general idea where the wards are. And if you're gonna avoid a certain brush, especially I like the top river brush on the top lane. When when somebody would de ward my ward, then I would stop pushing or then I would stop pressuring the lane so much because I know the jungle is gonna act them to make a gank. Then I'm gonna talk about the jungles a bit. And the trio of shit is called Jundamir, <laughs> Master Yi and Warwick. These all have one thing in common, they are extremely weak before 6 and they can't really gank before 6. And they need a lot of farm, which is not, like I mentioned, it's not really good to farm on the new jungle. It's about making ganks and it's about taking objectives. These three champions are fucking shit and Shaco is pretty bad too right now. And as for the good jungles, Xin Zhao. Jarvan, Fiddlesticks, Ramus, Amumu, Zack. These are pretty good, in my opinion. Zinzao is really something I recommend for beginners. Oh yeah, Trundle is pretty good too, and Jarvan. Um, they don't really get banned so much. Jarvan gets banned on high elo a lot. Evelyn is okay, that's the OP jungle, but that's not something you probably get to play because she is banned quite a lot right at the moment. And the reason why she's banned because uh, the pink cards, pink wards, and oracles got removed, so you can't see her coming. And I made a full tier list on the on the description below, so check for that if you want more insight, which are good and which are bad, in my opinion. Um, also, I want to touch one thing that a lot of people do wrong on the jungle when they're playing like Nocturne or in this Trindamir Master Yi. They're going full AD. That's not really smart thing to do. Jungle always should be tanky or off tank. Um, always build ninja tabbies and don't get merc threats because it's really wise to get the blue elder item. This gives you tenacity and some jungles fuck this up. You cannot build the blue elder and mercury threats. Tenacity doesn't stack above 45%. And 10% is fucking trash. You don't need 10%. 35 is enough. So hard cap is you're only getting 10% from the Mercury trend. So always get Ninja Tabi and the Blue Elder. Blue Elder did got nerfed, but it's still really good item because it gives you there's the new gold bonus passive. It gives you health, gives you CDR, it gives you regions, which are really good for most jungles. And the, the red, red lizard is pretty bad in my opinion, it's gonna get nerfed soon, so don't build it because it's pretty bad for the most jungles. And then we have the third item, which is, um, I don't remember its name, but it gives you AP. And it's only good for maybe Amumu and Evelyn. But Amumu is not supposed to be the damage dealer, it's supposed to be a killable tank. So for that reason you should get the Blue Elder item. And that kind of concludes my jungle guide. And I have made more in detailed post on the article I made. So to get full inside and scoop of the, the jungle things, check it out. Okay? And if you like the video, like it, share it. And please subscribe and please learn to new <laughs> how to fucking jungle, son. I'm out.